Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode. This is Dr. Neha. Welcome to Must Know 3 PSM Images in 3 Minutes. Before we begin, just a little heads up for all of you at An Academy. We've started a Focus FMG patch on the 7th of July. So if you want, you can subscribe to this patch course and you can use my code PSM Life and get 10% off on any of your subscription. These are your wonderful educators who will take your classes. So let's move to the first image of the day. Can you identify the root of administration over here? Is it A, B, C or D? Yes. Look at this. This is almost at a degree of 10 or 15 degree with the uh, skin surface. So this is intradermal injection. Alright. How does intramuscular go? At 90 degree. Look over here. This is intramuscular. Almost 90 degree. All our COVID shield vaccine, all our COVID vaccines are being given by this route. Subcutaneous is almost at an angle of 45 degree to the skin surface. Intradermal is almost parallelly. So you could get one more question that which vaccines are given by intradermal route under our national immunization schedule. So please remember by intradermal route we are giving BCG and fractional IPV. They can ask you which vaccines are given by subcutaneous route. So by subcutaneous route we are giving measles also MR vaccines and J vaccine. Both are given at 9 completed ones. Oral routes we have kaun -kaun se vaccine NIS mein dete hai? rotavirus vaccine and of course our OPV vaccine. Rest all the other vaccines whether it is Penta, whether it is <clears throat> pneumococcal, koi bhi aur agar hum baat karte hai, TD vaccine, all right, TD vaccine, DPT, all these are being given intramuscularly as well as the COVID vaccines guys. This could also come, COVID vaccines are being given by which route? They are also being given intramuscularly, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. So many times a question from international organization comes up. Can you tell me this organization? Yes, this is UNICEF. All right. And you could be asked the headquarter of this. So the headquarter of this is in New York. Now I'm going to tell you a very simple rule. All the organizations that begin with the UN have their headquarters in New York. Exception to this is UN AIDS. UN AIDS ka headquarter hai aapka Geneva me. Otherwise everything like UNDP. UNDP is also in New York. Okay. But UN AIDS over here, it's in Geneva. UNICEF, New York. WHO in Geneva. Also, if we talk about United Nations, simply the logo of United Nations. Okay. So, that is also UN. This also has the headquarter in New York. Okay. So, you can see over here, just for your revision, this one down here is United Nation. This United Nation has the symbol of the world. The logo is simply in New York. Uh, the headquarter is in New York. Ye aapka World Bank. The headquarter of World Bank is in Washington. Then let us see this one. FAO, Food and Agricultural Organization, it's in Rome. Ye hai WHO. WHO ka headquarter is in Geneva. Just for your uh, revision, this is UN AIDS. Although it begins with the UN, the headquarter is in Geneva. So that you don't get confused, this one with the red dot in between is Suraksha Clinic. This has been established by National AIDS Control Program to promote reproductive and sexual health services. Coming to the last one, so this is a graph which shows curve of normal blood sugar and diabetic blood sugar level. Some area is found overlapping in the two curves. Diagnostic cutoff point is given. You have to, uh, you have to ask, answer, what is this shaded portion? So, this shaded portion kya hai? Now, look, on the left side, you have patients without disease. On the right side, you have patients with disease. So, right side mein mein pas patient with disease. So, by a test, ye kya kya point karega? Which property of the test? True positive and false positive. So this one C will be false positive. On the left side we have patient without disease. So when we talk about patient without disease, it's going to be due to two things. True negative plus without disease. So 
false negative so d is false negative you just have to look at the diagram like this okay you uh, this is given like this and this one's given like this so if this is your true positive this is false positive similarly this is true negative this is false negative so this was a short episode yet again thank you so much for watching